Everyone, my name is Troy, and today we're going to be reviewing the second edition of what I built recently. And this is a rather brother to um, BMX. So, today we're going to be reviewing Parkour. <laughs> Uh, I kind of like this name, and excuse the coughing I said in the previous video that I was catching on something. But, here we have parkour in kind of a hatchback car mode. And, you know what, it doesn't look that bad. I like how the front shaped up. I used to have just these two pieces right there. Um, you can kind of see the head, so visible head syndrome. But, underneath you can't see that much. On how this guy transforms. Except for parts and things. Um, unfortunately the robot mode arms are on the side of the car. But I didn't have any other place to put them. Uh, without having to do a parts forming option. And even if I did do a parts forming option. They wouldn't incorporate into the car. I would just have them lay off somewhere. Um, so that being said he's a nice little car. Um... This car kind of reminds me of Skid, so for comparison, here he is with Generation Skids. As you can see, Skids is way bigger, being a deluxe, and hey, it actually does look pretty good. Um, uh, here he is with my usual comparison of Smokestack. So there you go, and he's actually pretty uh, smaller than his brother. BMX. Um, so once again, he does have um, a weapon. This time, it's more of a pistol kind of gun. And how you take the, how you attach this is you can do it in multiple ways. You can put it on here, like that. You can even put it on the wheel. Um, you can take it and put it on the side. Preferably, or you can do the same way that, or you can even, like, put it on here for storage, but, uh, you can do it like what, uh, BMX did and put it on the top. Like that. And I think that looks stupid. Another thing you can do because of how he works is, you can actually put it on front and have a gun on the front of the car. I don't like how my camera just blurred out there. But anyway, um, so let's get down to transformation. Uh, so to transform this guy, it's actually kind of simple. Just want to take these things and bring it back. Uh, then you can take the whole entire back, the top of the car, just fling it back. And that reveals the head. You actually want to fold these back for right now. And you just want to leave it right there for now. And you can take the lower half of the body and bring it down like that. And you can rotate the legs down. <coughs> so yeah, there you go. And there you basically have the lower body all, all complete. You just want to kind of fold that into the body to fill in that gap. Finally, you just want to bring, actually no, you want to leave these like they are. And finally, you just want to bring down the arms like this. Oh, not finally. You want to complete the back first because you don't want a robot that looks like this. Unless you want to have a fembot that has a bunch of hair. Um, so, just bring this in like that and bring the head down. Bring these section ba sections back and kind of articulate the legs because he is a little bit back heavy. And of course, once I do it, it will become front heavy and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't have feet, which would be nice. And he's kind of at an angle, but here is parkour in his robot mode. And he actually doesn't look that bad. Um... I think his arms are a bit stubby, but what can you do besides parts form? And I don't like parts forming, so yeah, there you go. He kind of has a frog face. 
I have to be careful about laughing because, yeah, you just heard. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, he's, he's actually not that bad. I wish I could fill in this gap right here, but I don't display my figures like this. I display them like this, and sometimes I don't even display them at all. Um, but yeah, I like how he turned out. I like how the head kind of sits into the body instead of something like that, which would be visible head syndrome, and he does have visible head syndrome, but anyway. Uh, you can do several things with this. You can make it a shoulder cannon and put it right here, which I kind of like doing. Uh, it doesn't look that bad at all. Uh, you can take this apart, put it like this, and actually put it on his actual shoulder, but I I don't like doing that. I might have just said I like doing that, but I can I like this better. Um he can ho actually hold his weapon. So again he's doing it gangster style. I wish I could do that, but I don't have any guns to hold except for a nice sixteen gauge shotgun which I can't hold with one hand. But, anyway, there you go. And get the blur off my camera, and he looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, so now for comparison. Uh, see if we can get him standing up here. See, the thing is, once I mess with this guy, he just totally becomes unstable. So here he is with Hazard... Us. See what I did there? All I did was just forget part, part of his name, but you know what? It works. Um, digging up here. Here he is with a minifigure. Minifigure doesn't want to stand, but that's okay. And finally, forgot to take off his weapon, but. Here is his brother, BMX. And I will say that there is another uh, Transformer that will be coming out. Uh, this is kind of like the uh, the re relationship of um, Blue Streak, Prowl, and Smokescreen being the same cars. Well, whereas these guys are just like pure brothers. And I will show the new Transformer right now, just because I can. Just because I can. Now, this guy is rather mistaken for his size, but I like to think of him as G1 Bumblebee. And that he is very sneaky. And this guy would, uh, this guy would actually represent Prowl being, here's a blue streak, here's smoke screen, and... Here is Prowl, and of course I won't show him off that much. He's kind of got a got I don't know. He's kind of got a barricades theme, but anyway, there you go. So here is uh, Parkour and his Parkour and his transforming mode, and this is Troy signing out.